Good afternoon, Miss Monet. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Okay, Miss Monet, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Monet Garcia, ma'am. I'm 34 years old. I came from Santiago City, Isabela. And I have a two kids. I'm married, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer. So let's start. Yes, Why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, because I need to earn money, ma'am. Why? So, okay, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I need to earn money for my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because some people said that the Malaysian people is good and they have a beautiful country, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? Um, I think in my research, ma, I'm uh, capable to capable of being housewife, ma. Okay. May I know what is your education level is? I'm high school graduate, ma. What is your recent working experience? Um. Ah. Uh, Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you are taking care of? Um, my baby. My uh -huh. kids. Your kids. Okay. What about elder or el elder or older people? Do you have the experience to taking care? No, ma'am, but I don't need to, um, to do anything to care of uh, elders, ma'am. Okay, so you are willing to take care? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Can you, okay, can you tell me what are those household works? Do you know? I know how to cook, how to clean the room, how to clean the toilet, and I'm willing to do to, to watch a karma. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Can you tell me what Filipino food or dishes that you can cook? I cook uh, pakbe, pinola, adobo, and uh, caldereta, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores or household works, which do you like most? Uh, I like all, ma'am. Uh, I like I like to clean the house and I like to carry a baby. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband and my mother. Ma. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your hand, handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am, I agree. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am, I agree. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Um, discipline and hard working, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I, I will finish my contract, ma'am. Can you and promise to... not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends or relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work with the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay. Miss Monette, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work to finish your contract or you will go back? I will continue my work, ma'am, to finish my contract. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, I'm Monette Antonio. I just want to work in Malaysia because I need to to give a... Uh, because I, I need to... Go ahead, Miss uh, Monet. Go ahead. What do you want to tell? Um, sorry. Because I want to to help my family, especially to the education of my kids. Okay, Miss Monet. What do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Uh, Mom, thank you. Uh, if you choose me, Mom. I promise to do my. Uh, I promise to give my best to do my job, and I will be honest to you. And um, and I promise that I will be finish my contract to you, Mom. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Monet. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Thank you, Mom.